I, am I on air? Ooh, I'm on air. Okay, well, welcome everyone to Firebug Day 3. Um, I guess this is episode 2 because I started at 0, um, because that's fun. Um, we are picking off where we we're picking up where we left off from the final version of Firebug One. Um, so as always, you can go to the repo that we're doing, and you can look at you can look at the branches and pull from day one final um, instead of the master branch branch because we're going to keep moving keep the master branch moving. But this will always be frozen for you if you want to pick it up uh, sometime in the future. Um, at the end of day one final, we were able to essentially clone the behavior of the notes to backlog functionality, where I could type stuff in, transfer them over to the backlog, type stuff in, transfer them over to the backlog. Uh, and that's uh, pretty much what we have uh, here when we're cloning um, planner.now.sh. Um, if I have a to-do, I can transfer them, can transfer notes. But I can transfer to dos back and forth, um, so that seems that seems these. Um, um, and uh, something that we want to do is uh, start working on to th this today. So over my lesson plan, um, I have um, these two items: add monthly and weekly routines, which which, which are these two things. Uh, but I'm going to leave that to later because I want to do some technical thing right now is React's new context API. Um, that's something that dropped in React 16.3. Uh, let's check what version we have. We have React 16.3. Um, and um, I want to practice it. And I think you should use it. It's awesome. And we should learn it together. Um, so I'm going to start off by refactoring. Uh, and and I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to show you why we want to refactor. So here's our app, right? And 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 app has um, an idea of what current date is. Then it passes it down to its children. So first of all, title today is current date. Uh, today string, um, and that is this thing over here, right? Um, and then it also passes it to its own children, which is in main. Main JS um, gets the current date, but doesn't do anything with it just passes it down further down to to-do list. So this is called prop drilling. Um, it's fine if it doesn't go too crazy. Um, but you know you can use the state management library or the context API to, to really solve this, to, to not have main even refer to any of this. Um, that's not technically true because date picker relies on current date, but we're going to write our own date picker eventually. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and start practicing the uh, context API. There are two resources I would recommend to, to do this. Uh, one is Wes Boss's uh, video on the context API, um, and he kind of takes you through that. I'm not going to make I'm not going to repeat what he what he says in that video. I just tell you to go watch it. Uh, and then the other one is Mainerisms. Uh, this is by Elijah Mainer, and it's extremely good. Um, and this should give you a good sense Elijah of Mainer. what's new in. What's new in React 16.3, in particular, the context API? So um, I direct you to both of those, but Westboss has the clearest examples. So I'm just going to copy from these, this guy. Um, so our goal is to, to, to refactor to do uh, the current date um, out from app.js so that we can um, use them um, more freely or just, just with without prop drilling. Um, so as Wes talks about here, you want to do react.createContext, um, and then and then use the provider, but then kind of wrap uh, your own provider over the context provider, uh, because then you can bundle in functions like this um, and and states like this, um, and that's about it as far as um, and then and then have it have it sort of react like this. So that's about it in, as far as like sort of good practices go. Um, so I'm gonna do. A very simple sort of um, current current date dot js, um, and I'm going to just copy this in, um, and I'm going to make this export default, um, and let's move this over here. Um, and so I'm going to move this out, right? Because I, I, I kind of, um, I just want us to be able to abstract this thing. Um, so I'm going to move the moment 
reference out. I'm going to move the state reference out. Um, don't need that anymore. Going to have this handle date change uh, move out as well. I think that's all I need. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I need more than that. And I don't need this anymore. Um, so I still I still refer to card date in my um, in my top level here. So I, I'm still going to need that. Um, and then in the bottom here, I'm going to I'm going to say my context provider value because this dot uh, this dot state, <coughs> and I'm going to have a thing called handle date change. Um, I think I can just um, supply it because I already defined it up top. Um, so. That's pretty much all you need to do to create the uh, the new context provider. And now that it exists, I'm going to import it um, in my app. I can import it anywhere. It's a, it's essentially a singleton now. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter what I call it because I export default. Um, so, but just to be, I guess. Explicitly clear and and it looks nicer in, in so that the React Dev Tools. Um, I'm just going to call it current date, um, and let's uh, actually use it. So current date dot consumer right, is this thing. Um, so I'm going to say old card date out from state and return day is date string. I also have to close my consumer. Um, I think that is all I need to do. Um, obviously, I haven't finished. You know what? Let's let's just throw it in there. Um, throw it in here. Um, and this should still leave us with a working app. Nope. Import in body of module. That always gets me. So do not import in body of the module. Blah. Uh, expected a string. Huh. Check the render method of app. What am I doing here? I forgot to export new component from the file as defined in. Or you might have mixed up default and name exports. OK, I think it's close, but neither of them makes sense. So. I'm using my context here. I'm using my context here, but I should be using my context.consumer instead of um, uh, the provider. So the provider has to wrap. OK, so, so I did this wrong, right? So let me also export this. I'm going to call this date context. Um, Apple D is the shortcut I'm using for multi-selecting and multi-editing. Um, so I'm gonna I have an export and I have a default ex export as well. Um, and the current date, I'm just gonna call this date provider because that's what it is. Better. Ah, oh, God. It's so lazy to type that. Sometimes I cause more issues than I, I create. Um, so day provider wraps the whole thing. Um, and, and it's the date context that has a consumer. Um, it's an extension that's editing the close tag for me. Um, so so they do things. Um, 
Not read property to date of undefined. Um, that is unfortunate. All right, well, I think if current date is undefined, uh, then I should probably return null. Um, and that's probably just the initial initial state of that. Uh, AppJS line 42 expected a, an assignment. Um, not returning things. I need to return things. Cannot read property to date of undefined. Again, what is this to date? OK, so we're having an issue here with, with what current date is. Instead of dodging the question, I should probably check out what's going on in here. Current date undefined. Yeah, it just says current date undefined. Have I screwed something up? Um, over here. I don't think I have. What is date? What is this date? That's the thing that's passed it, so it's fine. So I initialize moment. Um, I think I have another usage issue. This is why I practice. So when I use this context.state, OK, so I, I even got this wrong. So it's context.state. So I get the context from the consumer. Then I go context.state. Um, and that's why it's undefined, because it's pulling off from, the, from something that doesn't exist. Um, So current date now has something there, which is great. Saying that I was doing um, that's that is BS. When you have an issue, you should probably log things out instead of hiding your head under the sand. Okay, okay, something goes wrong here. Um, cannot read property to date of undefined. To do list line thirty Well, the error different from what the, the that line of code that they're highlighting is, um, but I know it's probably in to do list, right? If you look at all this, um, so let's go to to do list. Just because I haven't fully refactored uh, things, so uh, this is line thirty three. They say they have an issue issue well it is because it's it's right here okay so current date is an issue um when i pass things but i called when it passes this is current date um i expect this to be a moment uh of moment type and then I, and i pass it through like i always was so i don't super really see the issue ah of course i'm not passing it well Fix is not defined away. Um, so yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge giant fan of the uh, of this new API, but um, it does the job. And when I change the date, it changes accordingly. It does not change accordingly because the 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 method has changed. That's that's to be expected. Um, so, what lessons are we learning from this? Um, let me let me just. Um, so I can pull both the, the state as well as the change handler because they're they're uh, they're they're sort of the same. Uh, that's a lie. <laughs> um, mm, I, I'm just going to context dot handle date change. Um, so it's at the same level, right? As, as state, their state and their handle date change. So um, I should do that accordingly. So so then this uh, date change is going to work, right? You look up, look up top. Uh, this change is going to work. Um, and and I've refactored to use the create context, but I still have prop drilling. So I'm not, I'm not quite done yet, but um, we've done all the setup that we need, right? So 
for example, um, if I delete this and just render main, what am I doing there? Main doesn't need anything from me now, right? Because I can I can just delete all this junk. Um, that's it. It's so much shorter, um, and I don't have any drilling of stuff. I just expect it to. Um, I have provider here, and then I have consumer over over there. If I because I need it um, for my title, the top bar, um, and I haven't finished, so I don't want to stress out about this. Um, from main, I can remove current date, and I can just remove all this. I do not need any of this anymore because I am a better coder than this, um, I should believe. Oh, that's a lie. I do need some stuff here. Um, but I don't need it from props. I need it from, from the current date API that I set up. So pull this in. Um, I don't need a provider anymore. I just need the context. And I just need to provide the context over here. Um, so uh, I'm looking on the on the left panel here, so uh, I don't make the same mistakes I, I used to on the other side. Hmm. Do I need to? Extract things. I'm going to be brave and not do not extract things out, um, so that we have more terse code. And terse code is best code. Um, but you know, if you know JavaScript well enough, you should pro you should be able to read along uh, in terms of what I'm doing over here. Um, so that's the day picker taken care of. But I also have a to do list that I need to take care of. So same thing again. Current date. Um, same thing again. The context. Uh, la, 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 la. Where do I depend on current date? Essentially everywhere. Let's look at it. Wow, just everywhere. Um, what can I do about this? You see, so I have this like thing in map props to Firebase. Where, where I rely on current date. Um, so I'm just going to give it an anonymous function to, to, to wrap this around. Because um, you know, I, I've, I've written that, that dependence on, the, on current date being in the props for this combined function. Um, and I don't want to break that. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is eh, you know, just um, The context of consumer. Uh, I'm going to wrap this in a curly brace. And then I'm going to close this up. And hopefully that will do it. Uh, see, I also need to take the context. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Too much. Um, and then Take out the blah blah blah. We take out the current date. Um, what we're doing here const uh, um, to do to do list container. This is probably extremely poor code, but. <laughs> it works to do this container with the current date. OK, so without prop drilling, um, because our main now has no more prop drilling, uh, we, we're just calling to do list, and to do list gets its own data um, by importing, importing stuff accordingly. Um, that's the context API sort of uh, coming through for us, um, essentially to have an implicit um, prop is what they it's the other name for for what's going on in here um, hope I'm still recording yeah I'm still recording can't resolve current date and in, in component oh I need to go up a level oh 
I used to really piss me off when I was learning. So hopefully you do not have that issue. Uh, what else? What, what have I done? Uh, main also has this issue. You could have warned me earlier. React children only expected to receive a single React child. Um, what is that in reference to? I'm doing an array somewhere um, where I should have just done a single element. Um, that is no bueno. Invalid prop type, children of type array supply to provider. That can't almost can't be true because I have provider up here. So I, I'm doing something else wrong. <clears throat> do, do, do. Do, 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 The above error occurred in the provider component. How, I mean, yes, everything ha happens in the provider component at app.js line 38. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, I just I just give the provider. Uh, I, line thirty-eight. So it seems like there's some sort of conflict. Is that what's going on? OK, I'm going to disable this for a little bit um, so I can figure out what's what's going on. Disable and bring this down to here. Um, so let's, let's just see if the provider order is the thing that's tripping, tripping it up. Um, it looks like it is. Wow. I would not have guessed that. Okay. Uh, selection is, is off for some reason. Uh, I'll figure that out. But okay, so if I re-enable this, well, I cannot because if I well, maybe I'll just put my provider at the top level, because why not? Um, but this conflict is not good. And um, as the maintainer of that library, um, it's good to know so that I can resolve, um, you know, the old school. This is this this uses the old school context, and this uses the new school context, and that's what's going on. Um, there's, there's a conflict there which uh, I'm not aware of. Um, but yeah, now we have uh, things provided, no prop drilling, um, and that's that was a refactor that was not uh, smooth. No, none of these things ever are. Uh, let, let's let's do a full refactor. Um, so let's take care of our uh, dates. We got some date issues going on in here, um, and my job is to figure out what is going on. All right. If I re-render, I should have some errors. Hmm. Should I just call this on change? That's weird that it um didn't warn me the last time. Um so that's that's very strange. Reload, no more errors, but it still has uh, screwed up filtering logic. So let's compare things. 
A is A, B is B. Uh, it's, ah, what is? No, sometimes autocomplete is not good for you. I think that. I think that's. I mean, that looks fine. I just am filtering. I'm not filtering well for things with item dot date. Where if is back if is backlog is true, um, I should be filtering that out. So, what do I want? I want to console dot log. Um, okay, I want to console log every item. Uh, is backlog is backlog and then i want to console um item dot date item dot date and then i want to have an or so i can delete this later okay so that's going to help me help print out everything so is backlog is always undefined ah i'm not passing through um so because I I did this right. I, I I was dumb enough to to try this. Um, I'm not passing through. The props of whatever was given to me. Um, so that's not a good idea, and I should probably uh, spread it out. Okay, so things go back and forth like normal. All right, so that was the refactor. I can delete this now. This is such a good tip for, for logging things because you don't have to change the structure, especially if you're doing like a one-liner like this. Um, that's, that's such a good tip. I'm so glad I found that. Okay, so <clears throat> we've refactored everything. Everything looks exactly the same. Uh, and it's uh, it, you, you're you're really only a real developer once you can uh, do a lot of work and nothing changes. <laughs> um, but I can check one thing off of my um, to do list, and that's the new context API. API. Um, I'm going to be a lot smoother at this the second time around, which is great. Um, I do need some practice at this. Uh, OK, so um, now we need the, the routines. Um, and because we've done the refactor, uh, it's going to go a lot easier for us, which is why I did the refactor. Um, what routines are, are essentially, instead of these are daily to-dos, uh, routines are essentially um, weekly and monthly to-dos. So I need, I need some way of um, just tying things to, to weeks. Um, and I'm going to have to figure that out. And then I need, uh, and, then, and then they're just checks, right? They, they just have like numbers uh, of checks um, instead of individual um, items. So that's going to be a, a, a separate um, Firestore collection that we start to uh, inaugurate. Like as far as I can tell, this doesn't talk to these two things. It only talks to the date, which is the app level uh, date. It only cares about that. Um, so that's really great because it's isolated for us, um, but then it's also a lot of functionality that, that we're going to have to do. Um, I think what I'm going to do is it's easiest for me if I just do the monthly first, because the weekly um, is a little more complicated. Like I know how to, it's, it's not ambiguous um, which month it, uh, a particular date falls in. So I'm going to start doing this um, and hopefully use the, the context API to um, pull, the, pull the, date, the current date. Um, and I think that's, I think that's, it. that's, all, that's all it is. OK, so got main.js and we got current date.js. Uh, instead of to-do list, I need a routine, right? Routine.js, routine.js. OK, so that's empty. Um, and then I like to copy what I can. Uh, la, 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 la. 
this current this compare dates function is going to be different um but we'll we'll get to this um and then instead of class to do list i have class routine um obviously make hoping to make it reusable uh with um you know uh, weekly and, and, and daily. Did that work? Oh, no react. Um, and then do all this junk. Uh, I don't need all this, any of this yet. I'm just going to delete all of this stuff. And then mm, I can leave this, I guess. Um, and again, like none of this, none of this has to be this way. Um, this is just what I came to uh, as a first instinct. Uh, if I probably, if I really thought about it, uh, there's a better way to implement this this uh, injection. I just need to work around the fact that I have this connection um, in the middle, um, and the connection relies on having the prop set up the right way. Um, uh, should I go ahead and refactor things? That means taking the props out from here. Is that worth it? <clears throat> uh, my conclusion is no. So, um, so, so that's good. And we've got routines over here. I'm going to call this monthly routines because that's what it is. Monthly don't, doesn't, can't be converted to weekly. Weekly can, can be converted to monthly, and, you, and neither of them can be converted to anything else. So might as well just keep them completely separate. Um, although that's probably going to ruin the, um, the reusability of it, we're going to just refactor that um, as we go along. Um, and I'm going to take advantage of the, the naming property. So this just comes in as routines. Um, and this just is monthly routines for now, but that can be weekly as well. Um, and then I'll just leave this out for now. We'll see. We'll see how to actually use it. Hmm. You know what? I can't. I I I have to do something, right? Because I otherwise I'll just have an empty database and I'll just be staring at an empty database. Um, so it's monthly routines dot add. Um, OK, so then I need a month, right, which is a combination of month and year. Um, I need to know how to convert things to months. So uh, JavaScript date to month, month. Is there a good way to do this? It's going to be ISO string again, isn't it? It's always ISO string. ISO string. ISO string is our savior. Oh, MDN W three schools really is terrible, um, but sometimes you just can't avoid um, using them. I, I have to try to avoid using them. All right, so I want the first one, two, three, seven. The first seven characters of the ISO string. Um, How, is that how it works? Um, that's the month, and then I need the the title, the name of the, the routine. Hmm. I'm just going to call it name, I guess. The name of the routine. Name. The routine. OK. And then I'm going to say, and it's complete now becomes an array, right? So. Let's let's try adding a new thing. So it initially adds starts off with two uh, falses, and then you you can add and check off as as much as you want. What happens when I go to zero? I can't go to zero. So uh, minimum two um, completions false. So that is. Um, I mean, that's one instance, but then what happens when, um, 
What happens when I shift to a different month and, and, and this completions doesn't uh, follow me with it? Um, that's the tricky bit. So the inconsistent data is a is an issue. So for example, right, like <clears throat> okay, in my new routine, if I have two, if I have two over here, I have two, I completed two on fourth of April, and then I go to eleventh of April. Sorry, if I go to second of May, I have two blank ones, right? But let's say I go, I add a new slot, and then I hit um, enter, enter on only the second and third one, and then I go back to 4th of April again. Um, it sticks to that thing. OK, then I add, increase this, right? And that fourth one now goes away uh, when I've gone to second. OK, that's consistent. Um, <clears throat> how do I stress test this so that, OK, well, it, it, it seems like it's, um, it's got an idea of uh, what, month you're, what, what month you're in, right? Um, and then the completions are just a user interface uh, thing that live kind of uh, the the number the completions definitely have a part to play in it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm what I'm saying right now. Um, Okay, so a new routine going to not have any sense of the month. It's going to have a sense of the name of it. Right? Um, I'll tell you what else. I'll tell you what else. The This is going to... This is going to have to hold... The name as well. So it really only has completions. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> then when I click on anything, right, uh, complete routine, I need to know. The name of the routine. I'm going to call this name. And I need to know the current date, which I can get from props since I provided it over here. Um, so, so name. Um, I'm going to call this monthly routine um, completions. And then I'm going to give it the month. This is the number, number of slots. And then make this um, completions. So every so so the completions can fall out of sync with the number of slots, but you still pre preserve that um, that knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, I have the three main things that I need to get started um, doing this. Uh, 
not really. Um, I need monthly completions too. Um, let's just log this out because I'm a little confused at what I get. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, give me um, based on that string uh, this dot props for some self respect. So const routines. Um, <clears throat> right? Uh, and then I'm going to call this a div. Be brave, why not? Um, and then I'm also going to have a button. Um, add routine where I on click equals um, add routine. Okay, some I looks like I went some I closed the tag. What are you talking about? Uh, it's one of those things. Oh, there we go. If you were watching, you're probably were yelling at me to do that. Okay, so complete routine. Um, should have an index as well. Going to have a name and an index, uh, and the index is going to be Jesus. Um, this is super involved. Okay, what do I want here? I need to know what the completions, the current completions are, so that I can send them. No, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to have um I'm gonna have true here. I can figure it out. What that? It's not an exact clone, but um I have so much going on in my head right now, I need to just see something work on screen. Oh, and then I need to actually use it. So this is routine JS. I also need to uh, bring this back. Where's main? Main's here. So routines down here um, needs to have uh, mm, routine. Uh, that's it for now. The routine is not defined. Fantastical. <clears throat> okay. Obviously, with something with with we have a blank for uh, for our JSON. Uh, Thing here because we don't have anything in the database. I'm pulling it up right now. Come on, Firestore. 
No, no, I already have I already have a fire store. What are you talking about? Just okay. No, this is what I want. Firebug planner database. Yeah, me fire store. Yeah. All right. That's all the to do's that we have. All right, but we don't have routines, right? So when I add a routine, um, let's have some differentiation. Complete routine. When I add a routine, that should show. What if the add is not a function? So it seems like a blank. Um, Okay, do I have to add the name? Okay. How does that look on the console side? Um, of course, I have to refresh. So this is an array, uh, and this is a document. Um, I'm not exactly sure I want to do this like this, so I think I need to. I need. I think I need to use a different API instead of add. So Firestore docs uh, instead of add. I think I need set. to set a document, see? Um, because I know the name of my document. Um, I should just call it, call it. So I'm gonna blow this away. Uh, I don't wanna see this wrong thing. I wanna have my name show up here. That's, that's what I want, because then I can reference things without, like having that unique ID doesn't really give me anything. Um, so, <clears throat> call it set. So one. Okay. Um, let's see, because that could be the wrong thing to do. Because I, I, you can call set on a single document, but you cannot call set on a collection, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to try it. What an adventure. Yeah, you cannot call set on a single, on a, on a collection. You know, school people are smart. They, that does make sense if I really think about it. Um, so every, every monthly routine has a name and has a slot. Every monthly routine has a name and has a slot. And then uh, that goes for this as well. Um, I'm just going to need to um, allow for this somehow. Uh, I'm using the ESX property of um, left and right being the same. Um, so add routine, that's good. Complete routine, maybe not so good, but whatever. Let's see what it does on the back end. Um, <clears throat> Good, I have a completion. So, so monthly routines, I have first and I have two, two slots. And then I have completions, and then I have for the, I, I have completions of true for one of them, uh, for the month of 2018-04. Um, so all these are good things. Um, and that means that I have at least the database layer sorted out. It doesn't look like much right now, but um, I have what I need to, to um, make these things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, OK, so what's next, right? Uh, let, let me first display this properly, because I don't like how it looks right now. Um, I need a text, and then I need a bunch of checkboxes. Um, so. 
So routines is a an array, right? Array of objects. And what I want to do with that object, I have routine dot name. I save this right now. This is. So if I routine dot name, I should see what? You know, you always need the uh, and and. Or you can do this. That's nice. Um, so you, you have first there, and if I, I'm going to add a second name. Um, let's call this second. I'm going to add a second name. So that's, those are two things next to each other. Um, let me wrap a div around these guys so that they don't show up badly. <clears throat> oh, converted to JSX, so I need to do that. Um, what's this? Of course I need a key. You're never going to let me forget that. Um, so what's handy is this This always comes with an ID, so I can always use the unique ID um, to handle that. Bravo. All righty. Uh, we're in business. Um, and because they're all unique, I can add things with the same name, and it doesn't care, um, although it's not guaranteed to be the same order. Um, OK, cool. And then. The other thing that I need to do is have completions. Um, I should have keys here instead of name, because keys matter more than name. Um, OK, so then I need the uh, checkboxes, right? <clears throat> so I need a list of all the monthly routines uh, that match. OK, so. So monthly routines have no conception of, of um, what month it is, whereas completed routines need a conception of what month it is. So I need to figure out, I need to query. I have month, I have, um, OK, well, whatever I, whatever I um, do, I need to have completions. So completed, completed routines equals monthly routines, completions, whatever. Um, so once I have this completed routines, I need to parse it and then, and then filter it. Um, so I'm going to use this format over here so that, ah, prettier. OK, so. So I've got completed routines. And then I need to uh, map over these, essentially, and look for the corresponding um, item. So I'm going to make that a, a smaller item. So I'm going to call it uh, routine item extends component render. Okay, so so this essentially becomes routine item, and I'm gonna just pass it uh, routine and. What else am I going to pass it? The I'm also going to pass it the completed routines because it's going to have to ha figure out how to render that itself. Um, that again probably can be. Well, that probably can be. 
Yeah, screw it. Um, good, 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 all good. Um, so now this thing has completed routines. So let's see what we have here. We have completed routines, um, and we have routine, and with the current selected routine, right? And we need to display um, and this has an idea of what month it is because routine has an idea of what month it is. Um, by the virtue of having card date. So, magnifico. It's just a nice way of um, getting hiding the fact that you're doing prop drilling, um, but I actually am doing prop drilling. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. You don't have to have a hard and fast rule about these things. Okay, so because I have a card date, that like lightens up my load a lot by figuring out what the current month is. Const current month equals current date. Um, what is that function? All right, I'm going to make this a function. Uh, function date to month. All right, that's a date to month function. And I'm going to reuse it. Um, date to month, date to month, or date. You know, I should probably just calculate it once. Yeah. Because why am I passing current date around? And doing that when I can just const current month equals date to month current date. Um, pull that off, right? Only, yeah, and then only have um, that was easy. <clears throat> Okay, so given the, the currently selected routine, right? Um, completed routines dot map. That's that's every single routine. Um, completed routine. I need to compare the completed routines. With the with the car month, so it's, instead of a map, it's a filter. Um, return data routines month. Data routine dot month. Uh, dot triple equals to current month. Then for the relevant routines. Relevant routines, I need to map. Um, I need to map relevant routine. Uh, I, need a, I need a checkbox for every relevant routine. Um, let's look at how we do checkboxes, because I can never remember them. Um, uh, checkboxes. Whether they're checked or not, um, this is gnarly. 
<sighs> okay. Um, and we're just gonna have like an I don't know alert. Hello. Um, this is a div. This is a div. I'm going to move my completion up in here uh, because that's your uh, plus or minus thing button. And this is really a complete routine. So um, so this button is essentially uh, going to be like alert, um, add a new number. One plus one to routine number, something like that. Okay, well, the, the filtering is not exactly right, but um, hopefully we see something. Uh, no, that's never, that's always too much to ask for, isn't it? Um, each child should have an iterator team. Um, don't even know what these things are. Um, um, but I'm not done because relevant routines has to have a sense of what routine's current max is. So essentially, it needs to be augmented by um, the, the current max. <clears throat> I don't actually know how to do that. Um, so the routines kind of max. Um, num slots. I'm going to leave that for um, later when I have more uh, time because I. I just can't, uh, my brain is sort of freezing up right now as to um, what I should be doing here. Um, but at least we have some indication of that. Complete routine is assigned a value but never used. Oh. Okay. So um, that's a monthly routine thing. Um, I think I've been. Uh, broadcasting for a while. I don't know how long I've been on. Jesus. Um, so, so I'm gonna just leave it at there. I might be able to go faster in the in the rehearsed video. Um, but that's that's as far as I've gotten as far as the complete routine goes. Um, it's a long cry from here, but uh, I have the ability to to you know add things to my uh, routine, and that's. Uh, you know, core functionality of what this thing is. Um, that's some CSS I need to do as well. Okay, cool. Um, well, not didn't get quite as much done as I planned to, but um, I plan to be here every day, and I will make progress every day. Um, I hope you will join me in that journey. Um, you can always find the rehearsed videos on my YouTube channel, whatever this thing is. Just look for the uh, orange. Um, or you can look for announcements um, of more videos on Firebug on Twitter, Firebug Fam. Uh, and that's it. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.